Hey, my name is ShadowSense. It got really dark in my room, so I turned off the light. You're watching Arcade Spirits. Neon Dawn just started. And so far, it seems like it's going pretty swimmingly. By and large, the event runs itself, or rather, Teo, Ashley, Gavin, and Naomi keep it rolling. My job is to troubleshoot. And boy howdy, is there trouble to shoot. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to do a bunch of chores. Uh, oh god, sorry. Now, one hour in and we've got problems. Even if they aren't major ones. I don't even want minor problems to mess up this event. Not even one glass of spilled milk. My stress level is so high that I might start bawling at the sight of it. Beep beep. Beep beep, Matt. Can I be of assistance? I'd like to make things up to you after that invitation snafu. Currently, I'm detecting three problems for you to solve. Someone beating up a cabinet, a player loudly cursing at a game, and a crowd milling about the vending machines. As floor attendant and event manager, it's my duty to make things right. The crowd's already on edge from all the high stakes competition. Where do I start, though? Can't have people punching the cabinets! This game- oh, it's this fuckass again. This is the guy that was mad at Percy for hogging Mr. Moopies. This gamer is busy smacking the side of a Wild Rider cabinet. The fake plastic motorcycle handles on the front of the game rattle each time. No, no, no! This can't be happening! Sir, sir, sir! You're not allowed to hit the games. Plus, if Naomi saw this, he'd be as good as excommunicated. Oh, uh, you're the guy that I, you're the guy I got mad at when the fat dude wouldn't stop playing Moopy, right? Sorry, sorry, I've got anger issues, so I'm trying to work on them. But would you just look at this? Of all the rotten luck. I got the top lap score. I did it! And now the game's frozen, right after crossing the finish line. Honestly, I'm not surprised. Wild Rider is one of our most problematic games, constantly freezing or going splat. Naomi fixes it at least once a week. It was made in the early 20X, or 2000Xs, with janky, low polys, and low production values as a whole. I'm sorry for hitting the game. I guess that was pretty stupid of me. But is there anything you could do to help me keep my score? I've got a real shot at winning this one. This guy rubs me the wrong way, but it seems sincere in his apology. And he's a paying customer today, despite claiming he'd leave forever, so I should keep the ball rolling. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's ask Iris. I know this is a long shot, but... Iris... I just... I can't... I just realized that Iris is just Siri backwards. Don't you do it! Talking to my phone. I can't believe I just noticed that. But Iris, is there anything you can do here? Oh, I know. Ooh, a challenge! Don't worry, Matt. Iris is on the case. Meanwhile, please enjoy this recorded music. I feel like I've heard this before. So, do we just stand around and wait, or...? Thank you. Thank you. Th thank you for waiting. It took some doing, but I searched and searched and found an exploit online for remotely hacking the scoreboard of Wild Rider. First, please reboot the game. With a shrug, I go through the unplug and replug routine. After it boots, of course, it's lost the score. Hacking through the game's built-in Wi-Fi now. Screen flickers and the player's time now appears at the top of the, le the leaderboard. Whoa! Amazing! Hey, seriously, I owe you. And your magic phone. I guess? Right. I'm on the next game to conquer. I'm going to send Naomi a fan-made firmware update which closes the exploit. I doubt anybody would actually take the time to hack the Funplex's game, but... Better safe than sorry, right? <laughs> Got it. Thanks, Iris. You've been a great help. Hooray! What should we tackle next? Swearing, swearing up storms a problem around the kids? Yeah. Of all the fucking immature little stunts to pull, that motherfucker! Whoa, whoa, settle down! Fortunately for me, the gamer recognizes me immediately thanks to my speech earlier, and also fortunately for me, she calms down considerably too. Shit, sorry, sorry. Glad you're here, I need your help. I mean, just look at this shit! Curious, I take a look at the currently at the currently top score on Qbert. Which is registered to the initials ASS. 
Can you believe it? Someone beat my top score and then put in joke initials just to ruin my day. I know exactly who did it too. Steve! That son of a bitch. He's always pulling shit like this just to mess with me. Hey, there he is! Steve, get your ass over here! Steve glances over with a bemused smirk, strolls on over to join us. To join us. Joy, something wrong? Of course something's fucking wrong. You stole my high score. Did I? Oh hey, I love how his name is Steve the Ass. Look at that. I guess it did. Sucks to be you, huh, Joy? And your initials are? Because I know for a fact Gavin wouldn't have let you register for the high score competition as ASS. So I played a little joke. So what? There's still my score up there. I'm taking home that trophy tonight. Urge to kill rising. Must control fists of death. Uh. Shit. Put it on Gavin or tell him he's disqualified. Let's do Gavin. If you've got a dispute, take it, up, take it up with Gavin at the prize desk. He's the judge, jury, and executioner for all things high score related. Already texted him for you. He's on the way. Gavin takes one look at the high score board and frowns. Really? Really? And who exactly is Mr. Ass? Well, Gavin, that's technically former WWE Tag Team Champ Badass Billy Gunn. Holy shit! There's a fucking wrestling reference in this visual novel! Holy shit! Oh, that's awesome! I love it when things I don't expect reference shit that I actually like. That was unexpected. I... I popped. Sorry. But today it's just this gun right here. Er, just this gun. Just this guy right here, Steve. Good. Steve, you're out of the tournament. What? We can't wipe the game's scoreboard to get rid of your joke score, not without losing the real top score underneath it. Meaning we're stuck up with this for the day. Getting you out of my hair is almost, uh, almost, but not entirely makes up for having to deal with that problem. But that's not actually my score, I was kidding. I didn't put ass there, it was someone else. Matt? He claimed it was his until you showed up. So he's either a liar or a prankster. We're done here. Steve, you're out of the running. One more incident and you're out the door. I don't have to stay in there and take this crap. You don't want me here? I'll give my business to Deco's Palace. And off he goes. Wow, that's some arcade justice right there. Thanks so much. Happy to help. But if you don't mind keeping the swearing to a minimum, we got kids here. For you, anything. Pretty intense stuff, but the problem's basically solved. Even if Deco Name is earning a few more quarters today. On to the next problem. Wait a second. As I loop back around to the center of the room, I can't help but notice two things. Percy's looking oddly irate, and Queen Bee is missing. My instinct says I should tend to our VIPs first and foremost. I don't think I could cover both of them in time, but I could help at least one of them. Uh, even if it leaves out the last of those crowd problems twisting in the wind. I don't know. This is triage. Where should I focus? Uh, let's go see Queen Bee. I don't give a shit about Percy. We're approaching lunchtime, so maybe she's off getting food, but I'm not so sure. The Queen Bee I know would be watching the tournament pools and studying her opponents. Heck, I've seen her pack protein bars for a quick lunch rather than walk from FOD. I decided to check in with Gavin, who has an eagle's eye view of the entire event from his perch on the prize desk. Hey Gavin, I was wondering where... She's in the employee break room. Where Queen Bee is. Okay, I'm honestly kind of surprised you let her in there. It's crowded in here, and one less anxiety riddled gamer into the mix is probably healthy for the event as a whole. If you'll excuse me, I've got scores to tally. Best of luck. Okay, guess that answers that. Weaving through the crowd, I make my way to the employees. Why is there an X there? The oh yeah, because the bad, bad apostrophe. <laughs> yeah, right there. I scratched out the apostrophe last week. Sure enough, Queen Bee's here, thumbing through her social media feeds. Hey, QB. Hmm? Oh, hey, kid. So... Sup? Oh, not much, really. 
Just wondering what I'm going to do after L7 boots me from the team. I lose all my subscribers, and I'm lying downtrodden in the esports gutter begging for tokens. So, not much, really. Okay, I get that, I get that you feel the need to hustle 24-7 and that the pressure's on. You're constantly being evaluated and judged, put under the magnifying glass. Is this meant to be comforting? My point is, I didn't forget what you told me before. But isn't this different? You're up against the best player in the world. Who would expect you to win that fight? One loss. That loss in particular can't ruin you. Queen Bee sighs, looking at her phone for now and tucking it away. Her face still wrought with trepidation. Look, kid. It's... It's complicated. There's... Things about L7 that I don't talk about. Some really fucked up things. It's not just the pressure to perform, it's the pressure to perform perfectly at every second of my career. It's expectations beyond the norm. Beyond what anyone else on my team has to deal with. Simply put, I'm a woman in esports. This is what changes everything. Oh yeah, shit. Yeah, women in esports go through a bunch of shit. By the way, if you're watching this and you're out there and you're giving women in any kind of nerd culture, just any, any women at all, hard time, fuck you, you worthless piece of shit. What are they making sexist jokes about fixing them sandwiches? Someone giving you trouble? Let's do that one. Oh, Queen Bee, I'm sorry to hear that. Listen, if someone on your team is making your life miserable... What? No, no more misery than what I have to deal with on the daily from persistent internet trolls. The shit I get from my team is way more subtle than that, but it stings way more than the normal barb. Do you know why L7 signed me in the first place? I'm their... their mascot. The only lady on a male-dominated team. Oof. I was just... so excited to be getting a pro contract in the first place that... I didn't look... any deeper. That makes sense. You know, I really should have looked deeper. If I did, I would have noticed their history. Women gamers hired and fired over the years always let go for performance issues. <sighs> performance issues my ass. They have a rotating slot for the obligatory eye candy hire. And everyone knows it. And now I'm starting to hear rumblings about my performance. It's like I'm getting too old for them. And it's time to trade in for a younger, hotter esports star. I can't believe esports teams actually do this, but it's entirely true. There are so many esports teams out there, not that I can name any off the top of my head, but there are so many out there that just rotate f with female players in and out. Just because, oh look, boobs! Fucking grow up. And it's not like any of this is in writing. Oh no. They never say why it happens. It's to avoid the legal system, obviously. They blame the gamer every time. Poor performance. Mm -hmm. But it's as plain as the nose on your face. Instinctively, I go cross-eyed trying to look at my own nose. Well, maybe not my nose. Mine is a work of sublime beauty crafted by the gods themselves. <sighs> you know, this kind of shit happens all the time in esports. Montages and interviews are always focused on me being a woman and not my skills as a gamer. I mean... It's not just in esports, it's soaked into the entire fucking gaming culture. Women, LGBT+, POCs, minorities, people with dis disabilities. Basically, everyone who's not the industry's marketing target has to work extra hard to get to where they want to be, and get treated like shit along the way. I fought tooth and nail to get to where I am now, and to have it be threatened because I don't uphold to their sexist standard anymore is frankly, frankly put, bullshit. So, it's there and it's real, but tough to prove any real allegations. Closest thing I've got to hard evidence is my win-loss rating. It's steady and solid, no performance problems at all. Nope, no way. I don't lose. They can't drop the axe just yet, not until I make a mistake. And well, taking on the demon and getting destroyed in front of a live-streamed audience at a small event, an event I should be winning hands down? That's all they need to justify abandoning ship. Honestly, I would have abandoned ship on this team ages ago if not for the fact that I rely on my team salary to live. I've even had to put up with those L7-sponsored events at Deco's Palace. 
What a filthy pit of ego and aggression that place is. But without this contract, I need... Ugh, a real job. Like an ordinary pleb. <sighs> Fuck that. I'm a gamer and this is my fucking dream. So, I suck it up and endure all the little microaggressions. No way around it now. If I want to keep being a pro, I have to beat the demon. But how do you kill that which has no weaknesses? You tell me. Demon's undefeated at, uh... Literally every WWE pay-per-view, so... That was a bad joke. It's for you WWE marks out there. Come on, everybody has a weakness. What's his? Maybe. Well, maybe if he has a heart attack or spontaneously combusts? Being on fire is totally a weakness. Maybe you walk me through it? In fits of discomfort, how do you counterplay your opponent? I'm out of crap at that genre. Maybe explaining it to a noob will help. She pauses, trying to figure out how to word it on a level that even a neophyte could understand. Hmm, let's see. Okay, so there's three play styles in FOD. Aggro, mid-range, and control. Put simply, aggro is quick beatdowns, mid-range is balance, and control is long-term planning. In this, in this case, I play aggro. From what I know about the demon, he's absolutely perfect control player. He uses elaborate item combinations to solve the game and seals your doom. And I'm gonna hazard that control beats aggro. Most of the time, yeah. It sacrifices early game power for er early game stall, meaning I burn out while he's just getting warmed up. It's... it's complicated. If I wanted to counterplay him, I'd have to play mid-range, but I haven't practiced those characters, that playstyle. He'd outskill me easily. No choice, I guess. I'll have to get out of my comfort zone and face the demon as mid-range. I'll figure out something along the way. I'm going to slay the demon. I'm going to do this. I will. Uh, it's time to go exorcist on his ass. Yes. Then I think it's time to load up the ho load up on holy water and crossbows and purge his entity from our sacred funplex. Now we're talking. Let's put L7 aside for the moment, because even if I win the battle, I'm leaving them in my wi in my wake. But here and now, it's time to focus on the fight. Hey, thanks. Oh. This helped. I mean, I'm still very likely doomed, but I feel better about my doom as a whole. You'll be there for the finals later on today? I nod in an affirmative. Although Percy should be wrapping up his high score run about the same time, meaning... Hmm. Hey, it's cool. I get it. You've got a lot going on. No pressure. Now you've got an event to manage, and I've got a fight to prep for. Let's both do what we do best. You got it, Queen Bee. She pulls out her phone to do a little research as I deport. Depart, not deport. I'm not Donald Trump. Half of Neon Dawn is in the can, have to go. I've been running myself ragged trying to catch every little problem, but and there's still plenty left to do. But no sense not practicing self-care too. Exactly, practice self-care. It's time to get my lunch on. And while a nice quiet moment to myself would probably help, what would help more than be, would be a smidge of social interaction beyond crisis management? Percy and Queen Bee are obviously tied up, tied up in their own affairs, but everybody else should be open. Who can I lean on in my time of need? Hmm. I've been really trying to get with Naomi, but I want to figure out how Ashley's doing. So we had a we had a cool moment at Max. So let's hang with Ashley? I assume Ashley's hiding herself away for a quick break, and I can't blame her, she's been working just as hard as everyone else has. When this is all over, I'm going to need a coma of sleep and a, ho and a hot bath. But while I dream of better things, let me check in with Ashley to see if I can lower her burden. Oh, hi! Oh hey, you wanna get some lunch? You read my mind! I'm a psychic, you know. Whole story then? To the whole story! This music is so fucking good, dude. Can I buy the soundtrack? Hang on, I'm pulling up Steam. I'm going to the uh, Arcade Spirits store page. Oh, I can! Oh, I'm buying the soundtrack when I'm done recording tonight. My companion fetches a table in the crowded cafe while I memorize our order and carry it forth to Yon's service counter. 
Make my way to, up to the front of the line, trying to keep the lunch order neatly arranged in my brain despite all the, the chaos of today's events. Well, well, look who's here. I'm looking, I'm looking. Oh, I love these guys. It's our favorite arcade wrangler. Arcade minion? Arcade flunky? What's Who the does right their voices? They sound familiar. Event manager, actually. You know those flyers for Neon Dawn I asked you to pass out? It's my baby. Moving up in the world, I see. A proud parent of a shiny arcade baby. And yet, no invite for us to the baby shower. Why, I feel snubbed. But seriously, we couldn't be prouder of you. And to think, when you first walked in these doors, you were still trying to figure out your place in things. Ben and I know a thing or two about finding your dream and sacrificing to make it happen. I can't place the names, but long I know hours, their voices. Hard work. Hard hours and long work, too. Struggling to make ends meet. Having meetings to discuss how to end the struggles. Can't imagine how difficult it must have been for you to get to where you are now. Uh, it wasn't that difficult. Honestly, I came up with a lot of- came up with a name, talked it up at max, and that's it. Oh, I'd be on the lookout for hidden costs on the back end, then. Speed bumps on the road of life to catch you unawares as you're soaring down the highway of success. But if you wreck your half a million dollar imported sports car of business triumph, we'll be there to drown your sorrows in coffee. I couldn't ask for more. And donuts. And donuts. Don't forget the donuts, an essential component. Next order, please. Shaking my head, I wander back out to our table with a lunch in tow. Still, I must look a bit nervous, a fact Ashley picks on picks up on as I return. Alright, we're gonna have lunch with Ashley in the next episode. So, thank you guys so very much for watching the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this one, please consider subscribing. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye